Let me cue it up. Good evening and welcome to the Town of Delhi Planning Board meeting for Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. Present this evening, we have uh, Mr. Richard Clark, Vice Chairman, Mr. Steve Watroba, Clerk of the Board, uh, Mr. William Scanlon, our Acting Town Planner, myself, Guy Horn, Chairman. First item on our agenda for this evening is approval of minutes from May 11th. Mr. Chairman, I would move that we accept the minutes of May 11th as presented. We have a motion to accept the minutes from May 11th. Do we have a second? Mr. Chairman, I'm reading the minutes right now, and I'm noticing uh, under A, New Business, paragraph three, references me, uh, saying that I wanted to know why the affordable units were not labeled. I have no recollection at all of asking that question, so was that, do, do we, did, did one of you guys ask that? I did not ask mm. it. I thought, you know, I didn't look at that part of the tape, but I, Vaguely recall you saying that. Do you remember? That's, that's what I. Yeah? Okay. All right. I don't know why, because it wouldn't even occur to me if it wasn't shown on there. But, okay. Yeah, we'll roll with it. I, uh, you get a motion. Uh, I second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is there something on in the background? It's the. Oh, that's the okay. We're, we're broadcasting live and we're the being picked up live. Yeah. Okay. So we also have approval of minutes for the 23rd, which was the uh, meeting before the town meeting, and the 25th, which was the meeting right after the town meeting. But um, given that they just came out today or yesterday, we'll, we'll pass over those until the next meeting. Um, that takes care of item number one. Item number two, we have A&R plans. Uh, Shelley Nor Norbert, 45 Northwest Schoolhouse Road. Do we have a copy of that? Place. I had asked um, someone to come tonight to explain the plan, but I don't see anybody. Do you, do you know what's happening? Yes. Okay. Is it relatively simple? This is Tom, can I take this call? Sure. Hey Tom. Good, are you coming tonight? <laughs> uh, that's okay. Uh, we have a quorum, so if you can come, fine. If not, we'll, we can continue that way. Okay, no problem, that happens. We understood. That's okay. Okay, that sounds good, Tom. Thanks a lot. Okay, sure. Bye. Okay, great. Right. Okay, no problem. Thanks, Tom. Okay, bye. So, obviously, Tom's not coming. He got the date mixed up. <coughs> so, looks, um, looks like everything's on here, too. They're not asking for any waivers, are they? Uh, no, I, I actually went over this quite a bit with the engineer the surveyor, okay uh, to make sure we had everything on the plan yeah because they got existing driveway grades they got topography they, they got everything they got the build factors right so it's unusual to get one without a waiver right so uh, mr. chairman I'm looking at the, the form list checklist here submission checklist three four and five are blank uh, three is the plan shall be submitted by delivery at regularly scheduled meeting I mean that's easy enough we could just go with today's date but Number four is property taxes paid. Oh, I, I sent an email to the town treasurer today. I noticed that, but I didn't get a response back. So ah. Can we, I, I don't think we can do anything. Number five, digital submission of all plans and documents on a thumb drive or via email. Did you receive that? Yes. yes. Okay, then I don't have a problem if you wanted to. I check off numbers three and five, but number four, I think if we don't have an answer, I don't think we can 
unless can we approve it pending receipt of document documentation uh, of confirmation of all taxes being paid if you like you could hold off on signing it uh, and then I could leave it down in the police lobby and when I find out the answer to that question you could come by and when's our next scheduled meeting no for two weeks I hate having to drive down here just to sign off on paperwork that we could have done tonight if this was not, you know, if this was taken care of. But I, I, I'll, you know, if the if the, if if you guys are fine with that, then I'm fine with that too. I'm just not signing anything tonight if the. These the gentlemen. I don't know. Are you here for the Nobert A and R plan? What's that? Are you here for the Nobert A and R plan? I have to agree with you, Mr. Petrova, that not being checked off is somewhat concerning. Right. I would think that somebody would know whether they had paid their taxes or not. Or okay, so no would, would somebody just want to make a motion to table this until the next meeting? I would uh, make the motion that we table this A and R to that next meeting, Mr. Chairman. Okay. So we have, second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. So we'll, take a, we'll take a look at it at the next yeah. one. Once we have confirmation from the treasurer. Thank you, Bill. Okay, so the next item on our agenda for this evening is number three, review draft solar landfill decision and possible action to approve. This application, we um, only had one hearing on it. It seemed to be pretty straightforward. Um, there were a couple of um, unfinished items that uh, we agreed to put in as conditions of approval that that work be completed. Um, so it's um, and also there's you know the town has a lease agreement with the applicant for this work. And that lease has a lot of conditions in it as well in terms of um, you know, inspections and performance of the, of the work. So I didn't see the need to put in a requirement to have the planning board peer review consultant you know, supervise construction, but I think that's going to be taken care of. Uh, we did um, uh, grant the waivers that, that uh, they requested because of the um, proximity to the lot lines. Uh, the engineer explained that they wanted to put solar panels on the flat areas of the landfill, mm -hmm. which happen to be close to the lot line, so they wanted to maximize the production there. And then they had a height waiver on the fence, which is required by the electric code. Mm -hmm. um, we had uh, three conditions. Um, that is to complete the work within two years. It's kind of a standard condition. Yep to get the post closure use permit from DEP and to uh, address the uh, comments in Graves Engineering 3, 4, 7, 9, and 10 uh, that hadn't been addressed at the time of uh, the hearing. So other than that, I think it was pretty straightforward uh, application. Mr. Chairman, the plan, it's my understanding that the two, two of the three waivers that are requested, are, uh, the only impact is to town owned land. Yes. Right. So you did approve the it's site not, plan. It's not a, a private residence or a business. It's Correct. Right. And we already approved this at the last, uh, actually a couple meetings back, we, we approved, the, uh, was it the last meeting? Yeah, I think it was the last meeting. We already approved this. So we're yeah, so this is just the written decision to incorporate. And we're just going to sign off on that written decision tonight. Yes, and sign it so we can. Yeah. So Mr. Chairman, would it be uh, regarding the third waiver that the fence height from six to seven feet, would it be something for consideration in terms of our requirement internally to change that to seven feet so mm -hmm. that it's in compliance with the National Electric Code? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when we look at rules and regulations, we would want to change that. Uh, it's a zoning bylaw, so you need a zoning change. Oh, so we have to do it at a town meeting. Right. 
Okay, so um, do you, how about if we just go through and re we'll reread the waivers that were granted and we'll, I will read the uh, approval for the conditions. So the waivers that were granted, number one, a waiver for the front yard setback of 100 feet. The parcel sits behind the town of Dudley's transfer station off the existing frontage of Indian Road. A 50 foot side yard setback was used for this parcel boundary. Number two, a waiver for the north side, northeast side yard setback from 50 feet to 20 feet. The abutting land is also owned by the town of Dudley. And number three, a waiver for the fence height from six feet to seven feet as a seven foot high fence is required in order to comply with the requirements of NFPA 70 National Electric Code for electrical enclosures. Those were the three waivers that we agreed on. And then the approval uh, conditions of approval. Uh, number one, in accordance with section 5.04.08 of the W zoning bylaws, all work proposed in the approved plan must be completed within two years from the date of approval. An extension of time for completion may be requested in writing prior to the completion date and may be granted at the discretion of the plan board. And that was number one. Number two, the project has not yet secured a post-closure use permit from Mass DEP to authorize use of the uh, landfill for the solar system. The applicant shall secure this permit before site work may commence on the landfill. If Mass DEP requires any modifications to the plan, the revised plan shall be submitted to the planning board, which may require a modification of this site plan decision if the board so determines. That was number two. Mr. Chairman, if I may to the planner, is that uh, still pending in terms of the approval? I don't have any other information. That's okay. Yeah. And number three, the applicants shall address all the comments of the Graves Engineering Peer Review Report dated May 10th, 2022, which is attached to this decision. These include comments three, four, seven, nine, and 10. And we, don't, we still don't know if they've made adjustments for all those yet. Do you think? Do we know if they've no. made adjustments for the Graves? Plan? They have not, have not um, gotten yeah. any revisions yet. Yeah, okay. All right. So basically we would just be signing off on the approval that we granted at the last meeting. <coughs> Do you have copies of that there for us to sign or? I have a copy. Do you have an original? Yeah. We just need to sign one copy or just, yes. just one? One. Oh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, so while that's going around for signatures, the next thing on our agenda, number four, uh, sign the Stevens Mill decision. That was also voted at our last meeting. That's the original here. So we were almost ready to approved this written decision at the last meeting when Dan raised a question about the roof runoff and he asked me to um, incorporate a condition in the decision to that effect. So I did contact Jeff Walsh uh, with a question about how the roof runoff was, was being handled and he assured me that it was uh, accounted for in the drainage calculations but he also had some recommendations for what kind of, you know, what language to include in the condition so I can point that out to you, what, what I've added. Um, on page 11, on number seven, and then condition nine from Graves, um, it reads pipe sizing calculations, for example, rational method calculations shall be submitted to substantiate design of the drainage system, section 5.04.04.8.1. 
These calculations shall be submitted to the board's peer review engineer at the time of the pre-construction conference and revised as necessary. In addition, the plan shall be submitted showing roof runoff pipes and existing pipes that are to be used shall be camera inspected to confirm their integrity and modify to the pipe size and calculation. So it's just a question of making sure that the roof runoff pipes will be sufficient to accommodate the, the drainage from the roofs. Okay. We've already added that. Yes. Okay. And that decision it was 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 that a th uh, three yeses and one Sorry. on that decision it was three yeses, one abstention? Yes. And I can't there remember. There was one uh, one proposed, I think, and we're missing the Yes, I have that uh, signature page. Sent, I believe. Mr. Chernecki, uh, uh, abstain. Four, four eyes and one abstain. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know. So we, we only needed three, three. eyes. Right. All right. So we could go ahead and sign off on that. And yes. then um, if Mr. Edmondson would like to sign off after seeing the addition that you made, he, he could go yes. ahead and do that. Right. Just the one copy again, though? Yes. Just that one original. Right. So for a special permit, the decision is filed with the town clerk to start the 20 day appeal period. So, if anybody wants to appeal this decision, they have 20 days from tomorrow where okay. when it will be filed. 20 business days or calendar days? Calendar days. Calendar days. Okay. Okay, so that'll bring us down to number five Piasta Road, form J certificate of completion of municipal release of municipal interest and subdivision performance uh, security. So, yeah, that um, article to accept Piazza Road was accepted at town meeting, so we should be all set in that sense. Are yes, I brought this to you actually um, maybe in March or something, something like that before town meeting and you wanted to hold off right. on uh -huh. releasing the security until town meeting actually accepted the road, so. Um, That's been done. It's been done. I don't see any reason to hold on to. Do we do we have an amount of what's going back to the developer? Yes. Uh, I looked it up today. $26,327.92. Oh. One more time. 26 what? 26, 327.92. Okay. So we would need a motion to return the funds back to the developer on Piazza Road. Chairman, I would uh, so move. Okay, so we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. So we have a motion and a second to return the funds on uh, the, the completion of the Piazza Road subdivision. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. I got one copy. Oh, you got it. Yep. And just one copy of that, Ms. Yes. Brings us up to number six, discussion <coughs> of process for evaluating betterment costs for Misty Meadow and Tobin Drive. So we had the meeting with the town administrator and the highway superintendent. I think some of the um, actual quotations are, are going out to the abutters or the residents, I should say. And um, I think We'll get a copy of that also, so we yes. can review it. Then we just have to sit down and see what's uh, what's doable. I did go out and meet with um, some of the residents on Misty Meadow. Um, there's there's some options that that could be had there, but we need to we need to look at them all, and then we would have to have uh, a meeting where we see if it's you know what's proposed is doable. Mm -hmm. um, the 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 only issue is that there's not everybody that's involved with Misty Meadows was at that meeting. So, um, I, I mean, I understand the, the way the bylaws written that a majority can, <laughs> can rule, but mm -hmm. um, I think if you're making changes to what's actually there, that, that everybody needs to be in, in, in agreement mm -hmm. with what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if, if there was so a- So, you, you know that we had uh, Jeff Walsh, a professional engineer, 
Right. Prepare a detailed line item uh, with cost estimates of work that needs to be done to complete the roads. So that work is what it is, mm -hmm. but we do have a 20% uh, contingency in there. Yeah. So the thought was to create a subcommittee or a working group. It, it wouldn't be a subcommittee, it would be a working group, uh, which would be uh, the highway superintendent, town administrator, myself, and two planning board members. Uh, the, the reason being that the only way we can eliminate some of those work items is through granting of waivers by the planning board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the working group would go through the task list and uh, determine you know, if it would be possible to grant waivers without compromising the finished product because obviously these will become town roads and they want them to be permanent mm -hmm. and, and built correctly. So that working group would then uh, report to the planning board about, you know, with recommendations for things that could be modified. At that point, the planning board can hold a public hearing to modify those plans, um, in which case the modifications that are voted by the board would be what needs to be done to complete. And that would give us a new cost estimate, right, which would then be reviewed by the homeowners and they would have the option would the, again. Would the new cost estimate be, uh, would, we, would we have to go back to Graves to get that, or would that be something that Jeff Walsh, got, uh, excuse me, that Jeff... Uh, we would have, uh, we'd have Jeff Walsh involved in this process as well. Okay. So uh, he could, re, you know, recalculate the numbers, I think. Okay. It might be necessary for him if there's some changes in materials or something of that sort, then he would be the one who would provide the cost. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, even with those recalculated numbers, there's still no assurance that it's going to meet with the approval of the residents. But it's getting at least closer, perhaps, if you right. <coughs> so, uh, so if you're looking for volunteers, I am. <laughs> I'll, vol I'll volunteer. Oh, I'll throw my head in there too, if you okay. will. The reason we wanted two is because if we have you three, it um, could only be two of us. Only It'll two. Be two. You've been knee deep into uh, building farms. Do you so, want to? Yeah, if you're okay with it, Guy and I will. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, okay. because Guy's kind of spearheading this Misty Meadows thing. All right. All right. Well, if. And like they said, I've been knee deep in the Tobin thing, so I'm willing to. Well, uh, I, and fr frankly, you, you've done so much work with that. You're better versed and better able to carry it forward. Uh, these meetings would be, would I be able to attend these meetings? of this working group? Uh, sure, I think so. Yeah. Okay, if you guys would provide me at least the schedule. Yeah, you probably have to post it as a meeting of well, the planning board. Well, that becomes a problem maybe, yeah. Uh, I could sit in as just a resident. No. No, no. Because okay. you are elected. You are okay, elected. all right. Yeah. Well, send Sorry. me the, send me the, the, yeah. the executive yeah. summary. We will. We'll <laughs> Certainly, you know, we can talk about them at, at, as we go along at the right. planning board to keep you informed as to what's happening and you can weigh in if you if you like to. Okay. Bill, do we have a copy of the plans that were given to Jeff Walsh for him to make the determination? Yes, I sent him files of everything that I could find. Okay. So we have those in the office? Yes. All right. Because like some of the items on there I'm already thinking about. It's like uh, you know, there's quantities of materials for like sidewalks. But it doesn't say how many lineal feet of sidewalk that is, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how many, where are these sidewalks, uh, and, you know, mm -hmm. what do they constitute? The problem with Misty Meadow is that it's an old plan, and at that time, he didn't I'm talking about actually level Tobin. Of detail. He's talking about Tobin. Oh, Tobin, we have a full set of plans, so we're pretty good there. Okay, great. And then also, I'm going to literally go and look for these granite mounds because that's really bugging me yeah. how much. That was a big. They should be there. They should be there, but for some reason, on that latest. Find, find the radius and walk the radius. It should be on either end. Yeah. So then, those that's something right there we can talk about taking off the top. Yeah. By the way, of information Parker Chill is moving forward. You, you recall Tommy? Yeah, right. I approved that. I, I was. So our superintendent is spearheading that work. Yeah, I was contacted by one of the residents, and they said that the road was already spray painted for. Oh, for inspection of okay, like oh, I think great big safes. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. they're, they're not wasting any time. <laughs> one, one, one for three. Yeah, it's not bad. All that's right. pretty good. The American League, anyway. Yeah, three thirty-three. Okay. Wow, that's good. Yeah, come on up.
Good evening. Thank you. My name is Charles Colmier. I'm at 18 Tobin Drive. Um, as far as I heard you talking about Misty Meadows and a committee, a subcommittee for Misty Meadows, um, I think we'd be willing to do that at Tobin Farms as well. We, we are. We're um, doing it for both of them. So, uh, you know, if, if that's the, the, the direction of the planning board, then, then I think we'd be very amicable to doing that. Mm -hmm. um, my question for the board Just is... For, um, sir? Clarification, those won't be public meetings. They'll just be working group meetings. And then right. there'd be information presented at planning board meeting. Correct. So it'd be two members, so it's not a quorum, and then yes. we would basically just hash it out. <laughs> um, my, my question is, is, is there seems to be a, a, a misunderstanding on the estimate that that's the final number. And uh, I think there should be a, a clarification of the process from, from this point, from, from the planning board and the recommendations and the estimate to what goes to the town meeting and then what actually happens after that. Um, I, I think there's a, a, a misunderstanding that the $490,000 for Tobin Drive was the final number when it goes to an RFP and then it goes out to bid and then we get the bids back and then state law requires the lowest bidder as long as they're an approved bidder and then the money is borrowed. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think there's there's not a lot of understanding on that process. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why the article probably didn't pass at the town meeting because the 490 was the final number. Understanding it's borrow up to, and then mm -hmm. there's steps that take place after that, that, you know, the estimate was, I think the last time we were here, we were told, and, and I, I remember pretty clearly that the number was you know, it's probably around 260000 if you don't have to do that other catch basin and you don't have to do some of the sidewalks. But I understand in order to do the estimate, nothing's waived. You have to include everything. Mm -hmm. So that includes the other catch, ba the other detention basin mm -hmm. and all the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. So that's how it got up to 490. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there was like, well, they lied to us. They said it was 230 and now it's 490. Well, They're trying to... Also, you know, we, th that estimate, that original low number was based on an estimate from Ramco Construction Correct. back in 2015, right. and correct me if I'm wrong. We didn't, they don't have to. That doesn't have to be prevailing wage because it would be right. Right. So that was a major difference there. Then you've just got regular inflation from 2015 right. till now, and now you've got super inflation. super inflation. Correct. <laughs> so and and I think I think you know. In, oh, in and a 20 percent contingency. <laughs> There's always a 20% contingency, and I think, uh, you know, it, the, again, not a lot of people go through this process. It's normally the builders that's sitting here with their engineers that are saying, hey, let's waive this, and he here's how we want to waive it, as opposed to a bunch of neighbors who don't do this every day. Right. So, you know, I, I, think, I think backing up a little bit and explaining the process and the steps of the process mm -hmm. could really move this along. Um, I, I'm familiar with it. I've, I've been involved with this before. Um, so... I, I think just taking that time to, to, to spell that out. So in the end, it's total transparency right. because we have the RFP, you have it going out to bid, you have qualified bidders bidding on it, you have a number at the end that then tells you if it's less than 490. And, and I think that's really all you know, my neighbors were, were looking for was an explanation from, from the 230 to the 490. Right. How do you get there? Well, it's, it's like, like I've told some of them, it's a complicated process, but it's not difficult to understand, mm -hmm. you know, if you break it down. Mm -hmm. you know, so um, I, I, think, I think that part of it would, should be part of the presentation as we go through. I know I just did a little bit of it, but, mm -hmm. you know, it, would be, it should be part of that. Okay. And, and I, think, I think we can get it to fly. Okay. Um, well, maybe not fly, it'll be a bumpy road, but I, I, think, I think we can get it done. Right. And I mean, our, our, our goal is to go over that estimate. And I mean, Mr. Latrova was already saying tonight that he, th he believes that there's some things that may have been done that are still in the estimate that are, cons are being considered not done. So we need to, we might have to go out there, take a walk. Two of the detention basins are done, one's not done. Right, and so I mean like that they had and, costs and on there for, cost for, for granite bounds and markers and things like that. And those are in. I was told that they were in. So they're if they're in. in, we can take that off the list, you know. Yeah. So, it, you know, our goal is to make it as painless as possible. Right. You know, and that's what we can do in these working meetings is to try to figure out what's done, what's not done, and make sure that 
everything that is done is, is being credited on that and it's not being counted twice. And then if there is something like, like Bill was saying, if there's a possibility that we could waive something at a future, at a future uh, planning board meeting and there's something there that we can waive, that's only gonna make it better for the, all the residents. Yeah. In, in my question, one of my questions were, and, and you said the, the engineer would be there as part of this, mm -hmm. is we don't, we're, we're not the builder, we don't have the engineer on staff, if you will. Mm -hmm. So we don't have anybody representing us. Do we need to go and get somebody to be our eyes from a, a project management standpoint? But if, if, it, if the engineer is there, mm -hmm. it all comes out in the wash anyways with the RFP and the bids. Mm -hmm. So if the engineer's there, that mm -hmm. sort of answers my question, because we have nobody on our side you know, not that we're two sides, but we have nobody looking out in our best interest to say, hey, you know, that's, that's a little excessive mm -hmm. or it's not excessive. I mean, I, wa I just want to clarify, as far as this planning board goes, the first time that we saw that number of 490 was when it was posted in the article to go to town. Yeah, us too. <laughs> so, yeah. so, I mean, we I think I had, I, I can't speak for the whole board personally though, I had a misunderstanding of how the process would work. I actually thought that we were going to be able to look at this list and see if there was anything we could do to whittle it down before it even before it even had to be shown to anybody. Right. Instead, we got this number that in, in, was fine. Yeah, and I, I understand the 20% contingency, it's common, and then I understand the 2% float. Um, there was a recession when I was doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, there was a recession and the feds were raising the rate constantly and you don't get your rate until you borrow the money and the treasurer will tell you that. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of, uh, again, a lot, a lot of people don't know that. It's, it's a, again, it's a complicated process but it's not difficult to understand. Right. I think what, what, what we'll have going forward is that we'll have the benefit of this isn't gonna be as rushed as it was the last time because it, you know, we're, not, we're doing this well ahead of next town meeting, so. And, and my hope is that in two to three months we got this worked out and the, you know the next town meeting is six months away so that everybody will have a chance to see it look at it review it and digest it before they you know are, are called to a meeting to say we're going to have a vote and then bring it to town meeting if you if you want it to go to town meeting or not right I, you know, I'm, I always look at it we, we have to remove the emotion right we well get to a logical decision that's <laughs> why we want to have it as a working group right because there are there are some some pretty upset people in that development. Oh, absolutely. That are that we'll we'll never get anything done if if we've got planning board members yelling across the table. Yeah, that doesn't work. Right. It it, so. it doesn't work, and that's what I mean. We got to remove the emotion. We got to get back to to looking at the facts. We got to know the process. Total transparency. Right. You know, right. here's the full process. Here's where it comes out in the wash. If if there's any tomfoolery going on. It's going to show up when we open up the bids. And, so. we, and, and if I'm if I'm wrong and we can't find any place where we can whittle that down, at the very least, we should be able to present everyone in Tobin Farms with a clear uh, uh, understanding of exactly what you're paying for. With that's that. all. That's all I think anybody's asking for. Right. Sure. You know, and, and yeah, again, yeah, total transparency. Anybody who's buying anything has the right to know what they're buying. Amen. <laughs> and I mean, I, we are trying to make it as painless as possible on all the residents in both subdivisions. I mean, Tobin Farms has a, has a little bit better condition because you're not dealing with any paving. It's pretty much done with the exception of a sidewalk. Um, and you've got 40, 40 some odd uh, abutters that are, that are there. I mean, when you look at Misty Meadows, they've got probably more road in Tobin Farms, and they've only got 10 of butters, yeah. and it all needs to be redone. <laughs> so that's why, I mean, like the lady that was here said, you know, it, she did the, she ran the numbers, and it came out to $190 a month for the next 20 years. Yeah. You can't expect a resident to pay $190 a month on their tax bill for the next 20 years a lot. so that they can have a road to drive on. And, and you know, it, it's not a system that we're going to fix, but the system is broken when it comes to developers, and, and that, that's, it's... Well, we did make a lot of, the town has made, made a lot of changes, changes as far as. Right, the but you know, in, in the end, in, in the end, you see it in every every city and town in the state, and it's not just Massachusetts, it's it's all over. Yeah. Um, you know, it happens all the time. There, there won't be any more subdivisions approved for letters of credit in the town no. of Dudley, that's for sure. Yeah. 
They don't look at the rules, they look for the loopholes. And you know, that's, that's unfortunate, but thank you very much. Yep, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for thank coming. You. Thank you. Anybody else that wants to talk? Um, all right, so the next item on the agenda is standard business. So number one, we got discussions, status oh, reports. Chairman, I'm sorry, just, just to back up. So just going forward, uh, did we figure out, are we gonna set a calendar for those meetings or are you gonna talk to? I'll start working on it now. I don't okay. have any new information at this point, but I'll let you know. All right, all right. Just that way, Guy and I We'll probably have to plan our calendars you know, accordingly right. to set that extra time aside. Uh, it, it's not going to be, be a, you know, I'll well, at least you get that wedding uh, anniversary thing out of the way tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> these meetings will not interfere with that. Well, hopefully, the <laughs> conflicts with the divorce proceedings. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could do, um, yeah, obviously, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be doing them on planning board evenings, right, um, Bill? Right. Okay, that's fine. All right, moving down to the standard business uh, discussion, status reports on finishing construction of acceptance of uncompleted, unaccepted subdivision streets, including Pierpont Estates, Rocky Hill Estates, Piasta Road. I think we can cross that one off forever then now, right, Bill. Right, remove that one. Yeah. Country View Estates, Eisenhower Drive, Tobin Farm Estates, and Lyons Estates. I don't have any new information on this. I right. did take a ride up to Pierpont and drive over the new you did? road for the first time. Oh, oh yeah? That was the uh, first time that I made a complete loop around oh, Pierpont, and it looked pretty good to me. And I did send you a Graves inspection report. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It appears to be it's moving along. Yeah. yeah, and now the people that live there can, you know, not have to go to the end of the street and turn around somebody's driveway to get out. Right. So and they can afford the gas to do so. <laughs> It's downhill, it, you can yeah. coast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> even better yet. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, Eisenhower Drive, uh, I know the issue was with regards to pumps. Mm -hmm. Has that been resolved? I mean, what, I what's the status it, of I the, believe it has. Is that the only thing that was holding us up with regards to that? I believe it was. Uh, is there anything that you can see that would keep us from moving forward with them? You know, Guy tried to reach out to would you like me to try again? Would you I like try, me to try again? You can try again if you like. Okay, I can I can try contacting the developer. He's, uh, he's it, I believe uh, everything you know is done, although it might have some deterioration. Is there at this point? It, it, it looks pretty. I have to believe that there's enough money in the escrow account there. If the, if we wanted to finish it ourselves, we could, right? There's only a couple thousand left. Really? Yeah. Oh, after the pump right, issue. Not much. And we still need we still need um, as built and all that, right? Probably. Okay. All right, so let me reach out to him and see if, he, if he's it's willing to. It's been rather difficult, I commend you for well, uh, making last, the effort. Last time I talked to him, he had he had some some health issues. So. Oh, well, hopefully those have been resolved. It would be nice to get that one off the, yep. the list. Um, yeah, and Pierpont's going forward, so. Uh, next one, we have number two, inspections and actions associated with the site plans. We have Legacy Land and Country Club Acres. We have SEP Solar on Oxford Ave, and we have JD and D 24 Oxford Ave. Anything on those? I don't two? have any new information. Okay. And then you're up, Bill. Uh, number three is planner plate. Uh, we've received a site plan application from Nichols College. Really? For townhome development. Uh, two buildings containing 52 beds. Um, so I'll be sending that out to you. Uh, soon, okay. we'll schedule a hearing for that. I'd, I'd like to do it uh, the first meeting in July, although I think we might have decided to uh, postpone it till the end of July. I'd, I'd like to put it on to that meeting if possible, if we could reschedule the July meeting to be the second Wednesday of the month so that we can get that moving. Center Road? Yes, by the ball fields. Do we'll need a special Ball permit for this? No, it's site plan approval. Site plan approval, okay. But it's a major site plan, so it does require a public hearing. Okay, are they building parking lots too? Or? 15 spaces. Spaces, okay. There's sort of an overall parking count uh, for the school, so they calculated that they have more than enough spaces to accommodate this, but they are adding 15 new spaces. Okay, so uh, refresh my memory. I know we did something for July and August. Was it was it July and August that we canceled the first meeting or the last meeting? Um, reading the minutes, I, I forgot to. 
uh, but two said that in the minutes that we had decided to go for the second meeting of the month. So the, what you're Maybe saying is you'd like to switch it so that we have the first meetings of the at month? At least in July, right. Okay, and we will just cancel the second meeting of the right. month. What, what, what date would that fall on? Is it close to the fourth? Yeah, but I am out of town that week. Thank you, Jim. Uh, it would be uh, uh, July 13th. Oh, July 15th? 13th. Oh, 13th? Yeah. Ah. yeah. That's still there. The next day. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Okay. So we would just basically flip flop if we voted it the other way? Yes. Okay. Is there any kind of time constraints? That's why we're trying to do this with them? Or? They indicated they want to try to get construction underway in August, so I'd like oh, to try to get this done as quickly as we can. And their plans look like they're complete and ready to go? Yes. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I have the site plan. I don't, don't, actually I did get building plans too, so I think they're very far along in terms of their design for this. All right, so this was, tw you said 26 beds in each building? I believe so, 52 beds altogether. Okay. This is on Center Road. By the ball fields. By the ball fields. And where's the ball field on Center Road? Further down? Isn't it past like the farm? There's a barn there. I'm not sure where the ball field is. I mean, they have a uh, baseball field. I know where that's located. I know where the football field is located. Obviously. I think there's more fields down the, down the way. Another field further down or across or something like that from that point. I mean. Do you have, does, do you have a map that you could show though? Or? Yes. Okay. I'll have to um, get it set up so we can be familiar with the TV. Hey, Mr. Chairman, you, I just happened to notice we actually have minutes for that very short Monday night meeting before the town vote. Uh, so the 23rd? Yeah, do you want to just to, to take us, we can take a second to read that real quick and yeah. we can take care of those. Sure. I did read that. I was okay with it. So. Yeah, Mr. Uh, I also, so. All right. Do you want to make a motion, Mr. Chairman? Yeah, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the minutes for the May 23rd, 2022 planning board meeting. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Okay, so that one's done. We're just missing the 25th now. Do you want to pass around the uh, minutes? All of the minutes, yeah. Do we need two, we need copies? two copies? Yes. Did we do the ones for the 11th already? I don't yes. think so. Did you sign this? I don't, uh, think, I don't think so. I don't think so. So we need to do the 11th and the 23rd. All right, we need two for the 11th. I have one for the 11th. I have one for the 11th. One for the 11th. One for the 23rd. Did we say a Good idea? Not gonna make one down at a time. Thank you. So there's a driveway that comes in here and uh, comes down this uh, way. Here are the two buildings. Uh, uh, where's Keeley Road relative to those? Gotta look at the locus when you vote this. Where's Neely Road when you vote? There's Neely Road. Yep, okay. It's much south of Keeley Road. Uh, So access would be off of Center Road? Yes. Okay, so I'll take screen cameras. Oops. Um, 
continuing on the planner's plate. Um, the town has gotten a community development block grant uh, grant for uh, First Ave to do uh, water water mains and street paving and sidewalks. Okay. So we'll be uh, putting that off to bid in a couple of weeks okay. uh, to get that work done. Um, you may recall at town meeting there was an amendment to the street acceptance bylaw. Right. Mm -hmm. And a new provision has been added that requires developers um, to submit or to have stormwater basins on separate lots and or to provide easements for the town to maintain those facilities. Mm -hmm. So that will be a new requirement. We might see that when new subdivision plans come in. Right. Just wanted to remind you of that. Of that. Uh, with regards to that bill, we have uh, what I believe is a, a, a pending development on uh, Jesse Road. Uh, this would not apply to that because the plan had been approved prior to this change. Um, that I guess that'd be correct, right? Uh, right, but we only extended that for one one, one year. year. So yeah, if it, it should that should nothing if nothing transpires in that year, then. I think you had decided we, we, we could start that that right. process all over again. Okay. Yes. The um, at town meeting we also may had an adjustment to the um, uh, town bylaws as to when the town would accept roadways that passed with I believe yes, that was all part of the yes. same article same article so right allow street acceptances at the fall town meeting right so there's a possibility if we get all the details worked out with Misty Meadow and with Tobin Farms that they could be at the fall town meeting. Uh, no, we wouldn't. We could do part to chill. The work could be done. Uh, we could get as built plans, and we could bring it to acceptance in the fall. No, no. I mean to to get the to get their um, the mining articles. Yes. Yes. That would be the the intent is to right. have it ready so that we could you know get the work done the following construction season. Okay. Yeah. Sounds sounds good. Okay. So that's it for for this way. Any comments from the planning board? <coughs> Just, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, the CMRPC meeting is tomorrow in Sturbridge. Okay. Um, I, I think, Bill, you might have had a, an invitation that you sent out to everybody. Yes. Um, I registered for that. I don't know if anyone else has. But I'm not going to be doing that. Okay. Did have a couple of thoughts I wanted to share with the board. Just uh, sure. uh, one thing I accidentally stumbled upon was. Uh, that uh, A and R we did a couple weeks ago on a Prada up behind the courthouse, yeah. and uh, you and I had walked that property yeah. and saw the water, and I had walked as far as I could and I couldn't go any further, so I, I wasn't able to determine where the water was coming from, and then I was on Mass Mapper for another reason, and just for the heck of it, I I turned on the uh, the overlay where you could see the aerial photography from 2022 or whatever year it is that's most current, and was looking at water in Dudley, and happened to pan back over to that property and lo and behold it staring me as plain as the nose on my face the detention basin for the runoff of the parking lot from the courthouse yeah is right at the head right of up there. that's right where the, so that's where that water is coming from without a doubt yeah i even have some pictures of, uh, of that but when you when we, when we were standing in that old road bed you know, we walked it, and we were behind Mr. Prada's house. Yep. And you look in the direction of the courthouse; you can't see that at no. all. It's all overgrown, and you know, it's it's you can't even walk through it. But so that's without a doubt. That's that's all it is. It's just the, I guess, once it gets to a certain point and overflows, it right. runs down that that gully. I, I think there are some there's some seasonal runoff there in, in a wet year. This not being one of them, obviously. But I think I've seen uh, in the past. Oh yeah, water definitely. coming down that hill from more than that one direction. But you, but you can see on, on the aerial, it's 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 really clear and defined. You can actually see it. It's almost like a little pond yeah. right next to the retention basin, and then it's it, that you can see that perfect line of that old road. It literally it points right at that detention basin area on the courthouse property. So that's where his water is coming from. Is and it? It's, sorry, excuse yeah. me, but I just had a question. Um, was, I thought if you developed something on a piece of property, you had to maintain your water on your own property. So if this if this is truly overflow coming from the courthouse, um, would, couldn't they be required to, to to mitigate that? Yeah, you know you sh you can't really 
drain your water on somebody else's property and create a problem. Yeah. So I, you know, I don't, I don't know how how that could have happened or what the actual impact is, but it could be a, a problem for the public. Well, they've got a rather large circumference pipe coming out of that thing, and uh, <laughs> that's pretty much <laughs> overgrown too. But I mean, I even have some pictures of that on my phone, which I don't have with me right now. Oh, so you went up to the courthouse. I side? went up to the courthouse oh, and I came okay. down there, yeah, and you're right, that fence, that area was fenced in. And you've got these cat and nine tails all around it, so it's obviously a wet area. Yeah. And of course, this year it's not that much of an issue, but I can imagine like last year, oh, yeah. I think we got a, a pretty heavy rainfall last year. You, sure. you probably get a pretty good flow out of there. At least it looks like it's there in mind yeah. that it could handle. Well, that's, what, that's what stuck in my mind about that property in the first place. I remember, you know, spring, spring thaws where you'd mm -hmm. be coming up Tufts Hill and you would just see well, that was like. A stream. Yeah. Now. Yeah. No, it was a pretty, pretty good runoff, and uh, that that per that makes perfect sense. Matter of fact, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think in the the winter uh, there have been occasions where there's been ice uh, on that road on one side of that road. Yeah. Uh, and been, actually, uh, it goes right across his property, and then it continues, and it goes across the property next to it, <laughs> and then eventually it you know runs down and goes under the road. But anyway, so that was thought number one or comment. That I just wanted to, I thought I'd share with the board because I was like, oh, that's pretty obvious. And then uh, the other thing was, um, I, you know, I don't know if you guys have the same occurrence, but you run into people that see you and they ask, hey, what's going on with the mill? Yeah. Well, I'm happy to report that this week I saw some trucks there. I saw RH White, construction company, pickup truck there meeting with somebody else, guys wearing hard hats, looking all professional and everything going in and out of the Good. building. So something's going on there. There's I have seen occasional vehicles there, but I haven't seen anybody with a hard hat. So yeah, I don't no, know. This, is, this, is, this looks like the real deal. Good. Um, and, and RH White's a pretty big company. Yeah, so. I noticed a lot of the windows got boarded up on the first floor. Yeah. yeah. So uh, looks like uh, they're getting ready to move on something. Good. Very good. Do we know if uh, they finally worked that issue out with regards to the Mill Street access? Is that still pending? I mean, they've been talking about this agreement that supposedly it, it's everything in place, but they can't get a signature in. I haven't seen uh, nothing yet. See, you know, signed agreement yet, but uh, they did say that they agreed to the terms. Right, but it. But I haven't seen the signatures yet. I would just, Mr. Chairman, make note of one more thing, if I may. Uh, the town election is this coming Monday. Uh, and, uh, however, anyone chooses to vote, of course, is their business, but I would urge everyone to exercise that right. Well, Mr. Chairman, I did speak to that individual we saw who was kind of active at town meeting, and we thought maybe he might be a good choice for a write-in. I did reach out to him. He is not interested. <laughs> He's had his day in the sun. It was a good day in the sun, actually. Right. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna get any comments from the audience. Um, our next meeting is scheduled for June 22nd at 7 p.m. We I don't have much for that agenda yet. We did decide to postpone the A&R plan. Okay. Right. That'll be a fairly quick meeting, I think. And um, if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to do, we could okay. put them in because it's a light agenda so far. Okay. Um, do we have any vouchers or consultant payments? No. No? Oh. And no other town notices or other correspondence? No. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I have a motion we adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Oh, pity that Mr. Edmondson's not here to vote on that. Good night. <laughs> oh, actually, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do it next time.